Yo. <sighs> so, I was thinking just now, you know, thinking about God. And it's like, you know, like, what else? What else do you want to do? How much do we have to put up with you? For how long do we have to put up with you? I mean, for how long? How many more of your fucking sons are you going to send from heaven to die for us? Oh wait, I forget. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. Blah, 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 blah. So that means there's a possibility that he could have daughters. Doesn't specify. Damn. Fuck yeah. Anyways. So. Right now. I see. Someone driving. And they're dead. Yeah just instantly. Right now, just dead. <laughs> <laughs> I see, um, hold on, hold on. There's someone walking. Yeah, they just trip and fall. They're dead as well. There's someone with cancer. God doesn't want to heal him. Oh yeah, they're dead right now. They're just dead. <laughs> There's someone right now with leprosy. <laughs> dead. There's someone on a roof right now. They've been struggling with a lot of thoughts. God doesn't want to heal them. Dead. There's someone hiking right now. A bear comes out. Dead. They should have never been out there in the first place. Fucking hunters. Anyways. I'm just, I'm just joking around. You know, some fucking humor. Because Christians, pastors are always like, hmm. I just sent someone's out there with some leprosy. And yes, you are healed. You are healed right now in the name of Jesus. God bless your soul. There's someone out there with cancer. Um, around the vortex. Healed. <laughs> Oh my god. You know, it just makes me... Okay. Just to keep this... Just to keep this PG-13... And not so violent... Verbally... Um... Okay, let's think about like a movie scene. 
Say I'm like the producer or something, right? Or not. Maybe just like an idea guy, you know, just throwing ideas out there. And it's like, okay, there's an Old Testament story about the king that wanted the dream interpreted. And he's willing to take every single false person that can't interpret interpret the dream for him so he started killing these motherfuckers you know luckily for them joseph was there um incarcerated and he was able to interpret it interpret interpret i forget the word anyways he interprets 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 the dreams or the dream to him, and then blesses him and whatever. But my whole thing is, the king starts killing motherfuckers. So in the same way, in the same approach, how about, like, some people go into a church, it, specifically a healing service, and they start popping motherfuckers. And they start telling the whole congregation to start praying and healing these motherfuckers. We'll heal them. Prayer and fucking healing service, right? Heal them, motherfucker. Well, obviously, you can't fucking heal them. Bam! Another motherfucker dead. Next. We're gonna see some motherfucking bodies fucking get healed. By the end of the fucking service. Now that would be some crazy ass shit, right? That would be a crazy ass scene. That's like massacre type of shit. Like the movie Massacre. Chainsaw Massacre and all that. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Over there fucking touching each other. In fucking church. And fucking nothing's going on. You know? No one's fucking getting healed. It's a bunch of fucking bullshit. You know? Like, touch to fucking heal, man. Anyways. So. Yeah. So, like, the beginning of my video. <clears throat> like I said, I was just being sarcastic. Um. Joking around about what was I joking about about um what was I joking about I was joking about um think 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 oh yeah people dying not getting healed you know like kind of like a witchcraft like a devil or satanist. You know, instead of say, you know, instead of having, you know, like a regular service on a Sunday morning, maybe have a Sunday service late at night, 10 to 12, or 11 through 1. Hmm. <laughs> Some fucking evil shit, you know? And then, instead of talking about healing. Talking about fucking killing motherfuckers. No, not killing motherfuckers. Motherfuckers killing themselves. And, um... God not healing them and shit. 
And, um, you know, just making a bunch of random shit up. I mean, because it's crazy. I, I don't know if I should, like, be taking these, like, everything I hear to heart, you know? Like they say, don't believe everything you read. Well, what about everything you hear? Because um, here at Bethel, they say something about someone having a migraine. And then someone opening, searching through fucking Instagram and bam. They seen a post and they got healed instantly. Like, fuck. Anyways, yeah, it's like, I seen a picture of fucking Satan the other day, and I thought I was talking to him face to face. I seen a picture of Satan the other day, and I became just like him. As a matter of fact, one of my friends went on Instagram, he seen Satan boning down a random chick in the middle of the street. So the satanic spirit came upon him. He went out there and he did the same. Trip out, huh? Just like that, the spirit came upon him. He had no control over himself. It's crazy, right? What other stories can we talk about? Mm. (laughs) I think we're all just getting mind fucked. And, um, you know, we just got to go with the flow. You know, because the other day, I had a friend come up to me and said, um, that they needed some servers, some serving people, people to serve, you know, they they needed some people to serve and shit. But then they seen this ad about this strip joint down the street. And the spirit came upon them. And guess where they were at? The fucking strip club. (laughs) 